Hi, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be painting some succulents, and this is part of my color series. If you've missed any of my previous videos, I will link a playlist down in the description box below. We've done red roses, orange hibiscus, yellow sunflowers, and now today we're on green and we're painting succulents. So I've got my Princeton Neptune brush. It's a round size 10. And then I'm going to start mixing my greens for the succulents. I'm going to start with permanent green. And succulents come in all sorts of varieties of greens. Bright greens, soft greens, more sage greens. So we're going to kind of explore a lot of those. So permanent green is where I'm starting. And then I'm going to add in a little bit of lemon yellow. And I want this green to be a little more muted. I don't want it to be super bright. So I'm going to add in a little bit of shell pink. And that looks pretty good. So I'm going to start up here. We're just going to paint a series of succulents. And for this one, I'm just going to make some simple dashed marks here in the center. And then I'm just going to continue around making these little dashes. And these dashes are going to get a little bit bigger as I work my way around. Okay, and now that I've got a little bit of a start here, I'm going to start building out the petals or the leaves. I'm not really sure what you would call these, but they're kind of like wide V's and then I'm just going to fill them in a little bit. And then I'm going to do one more layer.
Okay, so there's our first succulent. The next one we're going to do a darker green. So I've got a phthalo green blue shade and perylene green that was already on my palette. And for this one, petals you can see in the center are already that pointed. Almost like a leaf. Just painting like tiny leaves in the center here. And then they immediately kind of get bigger here. And I'm just going to start adding them right in between where the other leaves or petals are. And just keep adding them in. So I'm trying to add them in now and pay attention to the overall shape. So I'm just going to keep adding them in until everything's kind of balanced. So over here is pretty balanced. That's why I'm focusing on this side now and why some of them are a little bit smaller. Okay, I've got this first layer in and some of these petals got kind of lost. So we're going to wait for this to dry and then I'll go back in and add some, a second layer to kind of clean it up. So while this is drying, let's move on to the next one. And for this one, we're gonna do more of a sage green. And I've got this base that I already used for the first one, the permanent green with a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink. And I'm going to add in a little bit of this cobalt teal to that color. And then I'm also going to add in a little bit of this peach color. Okay, this one is going to be a version of this, but it's a small grouping.
just tapping in a little bit of pink. Okay, we'll do one more down here, and I'm going to add back in some of this yellow. I'll leave all the colors that I'm using linked down in the description box below. And for this one, it's going to be similar to this one, but we're going to start with these kind of rounded petals here in the center. They're kind of rounded al along the outer side, and then they're pointed toward the middle. So instead of pointing the petals outward, we're just pointing them inward and kind of rounding the outer edges. And then it's slowly going to start pointing out the other way. So for this next layer, I'm just going to kind of do this transition a stroke where it's not really pointing any which way. They're kind of just these dashed lines. And then for the last layer or two, they will point outward. Okay, now let's go back and clean this one up. I have some of that color still on my palette. So I just went right over the top of some of those, and then I'm even going to darken these center ones a little bit by tapping a little bit of that dark green right in the center. Okay, I'm going to come back in and clean some of this up.
And then I'm just going to come over here and darken these center ones again. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button and then don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any future videos. We'll be back again next week with our next video, continuing with the color series, and we're going to be painting some blue flowers and then purple flowers, and then last we're going to finish up the color series with a rainbow composition. So be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out. Thanks again for watching. Bye!